Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another Hardcore Iron Man Progress video. And in the last video, we got ourselves all set up at DMI. Uh, we got our large pouch, we got the rune set up, the inventory set up, and now we're ready to grind out these runecrafting levels and use up all the pure essence that we got from getting 85 Slayer. So let's continue right where we left off at DMI and get right into it. And there is 54 runecrafting. We can make, oh, we can make law runes now, but we have to do... No, we have the quest unlocked, we can make law runes. I totally missed the level again, but here's 55 rune crafting. it ends in a 5, so you know it's a cool level. Anything new here? Air runes? Yeah. I think, is it 55 the requirement for um the Fally Tar Diary or something, I think? By the way, I was just kidding about 55 being the requirement for the diary, it's actually 56 for the mine runes for the Fally Diary, so. Here we go, here we go, finally, level 56. Rune crafting, and this is the actual requirement for the Fally Hard Diary to make a lot of mine runes at once. Yeah, the five times runes per essence. So now we got that requirement out of the way. Uh, we're gonna stay on the grind till at least 59, maybe even to use up all the runes that we have. We still got like 13k, 12 or 13k runes left at this point. Imagine not having a rune pouch on a hardcore Iron Man. I feel very, very sketchy about being here because these are not the type of people that I want to associate with. These are all Zamorak supporters. Look at all the runes on the ground. These are people who are who are funneling supplies to the Zamorakian mages, and Zamorak is not a god of goodness. Yo, some Chad here is doing the Hunter Kit spell and getting like XP and opening them and dropping it. That's very smart. I should be doing that myself too. Look, look, look at all the extra XP we're getting. Can I just drop it? I have to destroy it. Here's a little tip for you. If you're uh, running around teleporting out of the area, you can cast the Hunter Kit spell and it'll stop you for a second, but it'll push you forward and you get the free magic XP from it too, which is nice. And uh, the only runes you need are um, the Astro runes and the Earth runes, which you already have because you're teleporting here. And you got the Astro runes for the teleport as well, so like meta magic training macro efficient method. All right, here is 57 rune crafting, four water runes, that, that really matters, cool. Something that you can do as you teleport away, uh, if you get enough mind runes, or if you use mind runes as your, rune, as your payment rune, you can actually use the dream spell and use dream and then teleport away at the same time. And when you teleport there, you can just start running right away. So it's like free magic XP. All you need is a cosmic rune, which you pretty much get every single time. And then the two astral runes and then the body runes. So if, if you have a stack of body runes, then you can keep on using that along with the hunter kit spell. Oh, here we go. I think we'll have enough uh, body runes after this spell. It should be, there we go. We got five body runes, so watch this. Cast dream, teleport, boom. Free magic XP, just like that. And the hunter kit spell, of course. All right, just logged out now. Uh, take a look at the XP gains for tonight. Got about a little over 100k runecrafting XP and just over 15k magic XP. So don't look at the rates because I'm like super inefficient at doing this. Um, now, if we update the rankings, we were rank 1166 in RC before. Now, let's refresh it and 812. We moved into the top 1k for runecrafting. Also, I never showed the hunter rank from before. So the hunter rank is now 126. I just woke up and I'm doing my birdhouse run. Check this out. All the birds nest automatically go to the ground now. This is like the best quality of life update since EOC. Wait a sec, I just noticed they updated one more thing about it. So after we build the thing here and then put it on, before there's like an extra option when you click the seeds onto the birdhouse, you have to actually click on the seeds, but now it automatically puts them in when you use them on the birdhouse. What? Apparently we just made 17 nature runes from one inventory. Here we go, that is going to be level 58 runecrafting now. <laughs> this is a uh, pretty typical mood right now, relatable. And this is going to be level 59 runecrafting, and this also means we can now craft double cosmic runes, which is also one of the requirements for the Lumbridge and Drainer Hard Diary, which is one of the things I want to get done soon because it gives you unlimited cabbage patch teleports, which will be super useful for farming. I'm getting kind of sick of running out of the three teleports per day, so it'll be nice to have that and not have to run from Faldor every single time. Here we are, level 60 runecrafting. Finally, we now have base 60s. And in fact, every single runecrafting level we get from here on out will also be a new base level, which I just realized right now because the next lowest level is construction at 67, but base 60s just feel so clean. I think we're gonna stay here a while longer and just um, keep up using all the essence that we have left, which I think is like 8,000 or 9,000 essence left. Um, oh, we can now imbue our, our uh, pr primordial boots and get the Cerberus kills. And... Never mind, I totally forgot I have 61 smithing. Ah, I like completely forgot about that skill. I haven't trained it in like forever. Um, okay, so I mean, up until this point, every single level was a new base total, but after this, not too many more base totals. We should get the smithing up, though. Like, we have a lot of bars. Like, we check out the bars we have in the bank. 
for bar. This is all from like Slayer, so we can get some levels there if we want to. I lied again, by the way. We only have like 6k essence left to go, but it's still like a few hours worth left. At least like, I don't know, 5 hours or something. And this will be 61 runecrafting. Runecrafting is now tied for the low skill on the account. Um, I think maybe we'll do some smithing at some point. We really should to get up. It'll be easy to the levels there. Not only did I teleport out with the runes in my pouch is still, I teleported to the wrong spot. That's like, I should not be like playing RuneScape ever again. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, dude. Thank you. Oh, wait, let's equip the net. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Second ever dragon impling. What do we get? Dragon dart tips. That's like, that's pretty cool, man. That's probably worth a lot, isn't it? 658k oh my god bro all right finally here is level 62 room crafting we have like 1.5k essence left so i think we're gonna call it a day here and finish up with the room crafting um i'm not gonna use up the rest of the essence we'll wait till we get more essence from um from slayer in the future so we're done with room crafting for a very very long time we're ending with 1809 total uh let's take a look at the xp gains for today let me uh get rid of these Alright, total XP for runecrafting is 119k XP gain today. Magic XP, we got a lot of magic XP from this too, from uh, teleporting. I always teleport back like this, and then use the Hunter Kid spell, so like, the XP adds up over time. Um, now if we take a look at the ranks now, let's, uh, right now, let's log out actually. Log out the XP, or the rank, uh, 524, refresh it, we are now top 500 for runecrafting rank overall. Let's uh, move on to something else. Unfortunately, you can't get pure essence from Nightmare Zone as a hardcore Iron Man, by the way, so if slash when we do go back to grinding out 77 runecrafting, we'll either have to do a lot of Slayer or a lot of Temple Trekking, but for now, we're going to say farewell to this skill. But that is all for today, so I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you again tomorrow.